it's time now to get into the first inner geekdom match of the uh, season five of the movie trivia showdown. And uh, this is an interesting matchup. We've got a wide combination of uh, players here. We have returning players. We have debuting players in singles competition. We have highly anticipated debuts, and we have a unknown uh, expectation of debuts. Um, let me look up the uh, exact list so I can figure out exactly who is in this. Uh, we have uh, Koi Jandrew, debuting player. We have Adam Halavik, returning after almost a year of not competing uh, in Schmodown. We have uh, Mike Carlson. We have Mark Donica, and we have uh, Keaton Marchi. I think that's how would pronounce it, uh, and if I did, if I butchered that name, I apologize. So, we are back to the uh, special attraction Fatal Five Way uh, to, to determine uh, an upcoming number one contender for the Inner Geekdom Championship. So without further ado, let's let the Inner Geekdom Insanity begin in Season 5, today on JTH Reacts to the Movie Trivia Schmodown. Out of time, so say goodbye. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get into the inner geekdom insanity in three, two, one. And yep, inner geekdom is green, as I thought it was last time. There's no bar at the bottom though. It's just kind of weird. Because there was just too many words to put. Mark, uh, you're glad you're glad to have me here today, and I'm excited uh, that you are. This is going to be a lot of fun. Now, as far as who I think is going to win, well, it's two different folds. Who I want to win and who I think is going to win. I want Mark Donica to win, simply because I, I know he's. Um, Ken himself is very familiar with Mark, and um, not not Ellis, Mark Donica. I mean, um, they have uh, been uh, colleagues for quite a while. It's who I think is going to win, and I think this has been the uh, the popular choice for many people. I'm going with Adam Holavik. Obviously, I've known Adam for a while. Obviously, going back to his superhero news days. Um, and it is weird, because as I pointed out, it has been literally over a year since he has last competed on Schmodown. And as I brought up in the last video, it's at one point last year, late last year, it was originally scheduled that he was going to have an actual singles match, not inter -geekdom, but singles a match against uh, Jim Vavida. And then I guess for whatever reason, that match got scrapped. Uh... Which is unusual because I know for a fact the top 10 versus top that uh, match was already uh, planned. Um, whether um, Vavita was not going to be able to uh, make a second match, that I'm not sure of. But, um, I mean, honestly, I think everybody agrees that, you know, Halavik is, uh, is much more suited with Inner Geekdom. It definitely, you know, is in his... Uh, Let's go to the comments. In his range. Because obviously, you know, his former partner, Hector Navarro, is in Inner Geekdom. I'm Adam Havik. I and in this there he is. Lost both times. Really and of course, they were and, uh, teammates for a very long time. Sort of what I can do without what I thought was my better half. Hey, everybody. My name is Keaton Markey. Oh, it's Markey. Kind of not Marchie. I'm sorry, okay, Keaton. Because not very many girls can kind of hold their own in this arena, and I'm really stoked to kind of get my own shot to do it. You know, I've not been the proudest of my last two performances, but I do feel more... Ah, uh, God, wear sleeves. Come on. 
I know you have the right to bear arms, but come on. You are not Larry the Cable Guy. So I'm really curious how today goes. Trying to get the facial hair. My name is Mike the Answer Man Carlson. Ugh. There's a. He didn't even call himself Botanicus. Shame. There's a missed opportunity. And I decide, hey, I'm gonna come to the internet. I'm gonna answer questions. I'm gonna do this whole thing because I'm bored. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Mark the Enforcer Donica, and I'm here to get some work done. Winning is my business. Winning is my business. Thank you, James T. Kirk. Although I think it was risk is my business. I'm excited to see him lose. I'm actually really excited to play against Mike Carlson and Coy. Uh, Coy, I was a guest on his Marvel show, and uh, he knows his stuff. Mike Carlson, I've seen on movie fights multiple times. I know that he's very film knowledgeable. I'm curious to see how these guys do when the pressure is on and they have to answer questions that are to very specific topics. Okay, I'll be honest. The answer man has not always been the coolest guy in the room. All right? As a little answer boy, I was someone who loved Marvel, loved DC. Okay? So I know all of this nerd stuff. It's not nerd stuff to me. Obviously, I think everyone is rooting My for Mike, but um, it's one of those cases where cases I got to see it to believe it. Time. Every single one and even if I do see it, I still might not believe it. And I'm going to continue. Who are they? Doesn't matter to me. They're in my rearview mirror. I am super excited just to kind of get my feet wet. I hope this is the first of many schmodowns, and I hope you know I can I can start doing some team stuff. And I don't know. This is just it's going to be interesting first. if uh, if Adam wins I, uh, because I think there's a big Look, assumption a that Hector will be in the second be. one. Um, and if we get Adam anything? versus Hector, whatever, that's all fine and good. <laughs> Navarro, just a little bitter. And I think that'd be a really fun shot to go against a former team. Oh, uh, uh, just uh, as soon know, as I brought that up, he down. teased it. Goal here he teased it. It's just to humiliate and make me feel better about myself. Okay? To fill that deep, dark hole that I have in my soul. Funny how he That's said I was here bitter. Jason Still a little Inman, bitter. I'll what come after bitter him. about? I don't, care. I don't care if it's Jason Inman. I don't he care if it's Jason for almost Schwartzman. A, for almost a year. Doing today to my other competitors, I have to say, win or lose, it's just, it's just business. And I'm getting paid. Paid in victory. Don't underestimate me. He's at least and talking the big game. Like, oh, so you know, he, uh, you know, he, he at least gets it. I have a lot of other random uh, factoids up here. So just be careful. So I've been running on the treadmill. I've been looking at names. I've been watching these movies preparing for Infinity War. I've been doing my show all about Marvel. Been watching Remind me how running I've the treadmill is going to help. I've been names and I'm coming for names. Especially yours, and I'm coming. Oh, that's right. Cause he's crazy. You know, I love a good sense of humor, and Mike I almost forgot. To the table. He does podcast the ride. I'm bring up my trivia by running and treadmill. Today, but also somebody who Very suspicious. Of mm. many of the competitors today, that would be none other than Coy Jandrew. Yeah, Coy, he's a fast talker, but he's uh, he's great with the answers. He came here and inter 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 and just kind of made his uh, his presence known on the Schmodown. But I'm telling you right now, I'm a big fan of everyone here, but I love Mark Donica. But my pick to click to win today is the answer man, Mike Carlson. I've seen this guy fight, debate. How uh, could you can? Costume, just himself. I've seen him dress as a lobster, win a debate. I think this guy's got what it takes today. I will agree with you, brought up the lobster. Oh. Uh, but we do have a wild card here today, too. I mean, you look at somebody like do I, can, do I have to continue with this? And then you also have Keaton. What's her last name? You guessed Marky. it. Marky. And how funky is she going to get today? It's going to be her first time competing in an inner geekdom. She got the call to compete last second. She showed up here to the studio. And boy, is she ready to go. Absolutely. One of the interesting things here is Adam Halavik. His name can be said 14 different ways. You can choose it each time you want. But he is coming here representing Hyper. RPG. He has competed here before in teams with Hector Navarro. We know Hector's uh, pedigree as a competitor here and a champion here. Uh, will that rub off on us? Adam Hallenbeck, it sounds like Univac, the first computer. Will he be a computer of knowledge here today? Oh, I want to 
So bad they had to cut it. Let's look at some beautiful pictures. Tell me some strengths and weaknesses. All right, these are all geeks to the core. Adam Halavik, he knows. Inner geekdom category, inner geekdom category, inner geekdom category, and holding grudges. Entirely sure. Mark Donica, absolutely. Inner geekdom category, inner geekdom category, inner geekdom category, and held many jobs. Disney. I don't know if that's going to help you here, though. Uh, and Star Wars as well. She's pretty confident there. If you wear a Star Wars jacket like I did at the playground in 1983, you know you're Star Wars. She hosts Disney movie news on the Absolutely. Popcorn Talk Network. Does that translate to Marvel and Star Wars? Mike Carlson, it is, is good. Intergeating category, intergeating category, intergeating category, and Taco Bell menu. Um, can I get a beefy five layer burrito? And I miss those Daredevil growers. Intergeating category, answering Marvel questions, and and, uh, pun. Oh, they had to bring it up. Never too soon for a pudding jab. Well, you're kind of a dick, but you're one of my friends, so let's get ready to go. All right. Well, then if you're ready, it's time for movie trivia. Slow down. Finish, Mark. We have got five competitors. Let's start bringing them out. Introducing first. From High School RPG, making his inner geek the showdown debut, Adam Bohemaker. Oh, he, yeah, yeah, he being old King Cooper. Didn't zip it down quite far enough, but I don't know what it is. Now we don't Nintendo is not a question yet, right? Nintendo, it's something for us to talk about. Might be, might be. And his opponent. Making his movie trivia. Oh, Tanicus. Oh, never mind. He said, uh, he said, Mark, never mind. I'm sorry, Mark, and I picked you to win. Thinks he's Kevin Nash with the old Diesel team. Yeah, I did a big goof there. I thought you were Mike Carlson. And a Porg, because Porgs are God. Much anticipated. Oh, Tenekes. I kind of root for you now, Coy, because we're, we're, you know, we're representing the the same country. Actually, I think they're all representing the same country, so I don't think that's fair. 
available to our competitors. New and old, my favorite costume is like Carl oh, dressed shit. like a bully in a movie about Google. I still have Medid and Manning's name <laughs> on my whiteboard <laughs> from the movie Battleground match that I recorded, which you'll see either tomorrow or later today, depending on when this gets up. This is the Inner Geekdom format, so you will hear a series of ten questions. Each question is worth one point. Each question is asked to the field. Once you hear the question, please write down your best attempt at an answer on the whiteboard with the marker provided to you. Do not answer the question until we ask you individually what your best attempt was. Once we ask that, please show your whiteboard to the cameras. At the same time, you verbalize it into the microphone and it still works. in front of you. Again, each question worth one point. There is no stealing in round one are you competitors ready to go oh yeah yes sir yes oh, okay it looks like we have five okay it is time <laughs> let's get ready Yay! Okay. your first category comes from the world of dceu hmm. The question is about the current DCEU, and it is. Junkie XL, alongside Hans Zimmer, scored the music for which DCEU film? A DCEU film. I like the Wonder Woman. I would five, four, three, Batman v Superman. One, we start with Coy. Wonder Woman. That is incorrect. Looking for. <laughs> Come on, Mark. Mike Carlson. The two wonderful men scored Super Batman vs. Superman. There it, there it is. There it is. I was writing Batman vs. Superman, but. Mm, went with the Wonder Woman. That is incorrect. We go to Mark. Batman vs. Superman, Donna Justice. Give him a point, Adam Halleck. Batman vs. Superman. Superman. All right, we are up. Yay! I am one for one. All that right. usually don't happen. Question number two in the category of Marvel Coy, keep your pants on. What <laughs> Game of Thrones star plays Jean Grey in X Men? I don't remember Apocalypse. any of those people's names. Uh, you know, I, uh, I, as a Game of Thrones expert, I probably would have got this wrong. I, I'm an X Men fan, not an expert. Game of Thrones. Five. I, I, I think I four. quit. Three, two, two and one. Pass Not down. Danica Jansen. We're looking at answers starting with Mike Carlson. That is correct. Sophie Turner. Oh, that's her name? <laughs> I, I would have accepted it. No, but no. Danica. Saw it on a plane. <laughs> I didn't eat wrong. He actually wrote saw it on a plane. Okay. Uh, Adam. Sophie Turner. Sophie Turner. That's, that's my correct. man, Mark Donica. That is correct. All right. Keep your pants on. He's like, pants on. Sophie okay, Turner. Okay, kids. Your next category is in the world of The Hobbit. Oh. The Hobbit. The question is, who attacked Lonely Mountain, driving Thorin and his kin from living there? You're put into a sentence well, sir. Oh, you're talking to me? You're talking to you, sir. Uh, I'm going to go to five, four, three, two. I put these And M. It's an M. All right, looking for answers, starting with Keaton. Smile. That is correct. Smile the dragon. All right, for Donica, then. Adam. The wizard with a beard. Solid guess. Solid guess. Coy. I'm very excited to say smile. That's correct. My card. I just wrote no. Uh, can I? Can we accept that? I'm campaigning to no. Okay. Yeah. Question four. Categories in the uh, category is Star Wars. Hmm. In the Last Jedi, what was the name of Benicio del Toro's character? Oh crap. He was in. Uh, he was in. Uh, saw it three times and I still don't remember. Yeah. Yes, it shows you how eventful that movie is. Five. So we should still Three. 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 Two and one. All right. Pens down. Pens down. Looking for answers starting with Mark Donica. It stands for Don't Join DJ. Oh, DJ. <laughs> Adam Halabi. DJ. That's, That's right. correct. Point there. Darn it. Coy. Coy. Twelve Monkeys Brad Pitt. 
almost, accurate. almost accurate, but wrong. <laughs> Mike Carlson. Mike Carlson. <laughs> Flipping name Alexander. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good one. Keep. He, was a, he was a mini butt and a cheap, so I just wrote cheap. Uh, that is incorrect. Uh, incorrect. Uh, we have Danica and Halavik in the lead with three. Keaton with one. Uh, next question, number five. We go to the category of Lord of the Rings. These are like the Hobbit except good. The question is, in the Fellowship of the Ring, when Gimli jumps the gas in the stairs in the mines of Moria, someone grabs his beard and saves him. Who? Beard spelled wrong. You ever, uh, you ever grab another man's beard? Uh, several times. You saw Billy Gibbons live on stage recently? I wanted to touch it. It wasn't at a concert for me. Five, four, three, two, Bilbo. and one, and down. We are looking for answers, starting with Adam. Gandalf. Incorrect. Coy. Legolas, beginning a friendship for the ages. Um, that is, that was sweet. And correct. Adorable. <laughs> Mike Carlson. Uh, I didn't know the answer, but it's Legolas. Uh, that is a great guess. Mm -hmm. You're an answer man. Keaton. Uh, my sexual awakening, Legolas. <laughs> right. That's, a, that's a good story. <laughs> and Donica. Legolas. Uh, but what is it your sexual awakening? <laughs> you can talk about that later if you want. <laughs> <laughs> right. okay. Next question, question six in the category of DC. In which Batman film are Penguin and Catwoman the villains? I don't know what happened there. They apparently all got points, and I missed what was that about. Batman Returns. Next. One, you've got it. First answer from Coy. Timmy Burton's Batman Returns. You didn't need to put Tim Burton. You got Mike Carlson. Timmy Burton's Batman Returns. That is correct. Timmy Burton's Batman Returns. Batman Returns. That is correct. Mark Donica. Batman Returns. To take the lead, yes. Batman Returns. That is correct. All right. Timmy Burton's Batman Returns. Batman Returns, you're talking about my sexual awakening. Seeing Christopher Walken's hair like that for the first time. <laughs> Why are you dressed like Batman? We go to question number seven in round one. This is in the category of the MCU. This is the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Which Avenger makes a cameo in a post credit scene in The Incredible Hulk? It, it does Can you repeat the question? That is All the right. AT right. roll. Happy to do it. One repeat. Sorry. Which Avenger, Which Avenger makes a cameo in a post-credit post scene in The Incredible Hulk? Anyway, I was. I was. I don't know. She don't remember anything about The Incredible Hulk. Five, four. I'm just gonna say Hawkeye. And one pens are down. Answer starting with Michael. Iron Man. Iron Man, Tony Stark. Iron Man, Tony Stark that is oh. correct. He said he was Iron Man. That's yep. right. Keaton. Iron Man. That is correct. Tony Stark slash Iron Man. That is correct. Mark Donica. Adam. Tony Stark. That is correct. And Cole. Tony Stark not as Iron Man. We're going to accept that there. All right. There uh, right answers across the board. Eighth question in the category of Harry Potter. Oh. I think I did that already. What was the name of the defense against the dark arts professor in Prisoner of Azkaban? Is that a class that you would take? You seem more like you enjoy That was dark uh, arts defense. I, I would actually be teaching that. Yes, I'm wrong. Four, three, two, and one, and he pens down. And we begin with Keaton. Uh, I got the wrong movie. So I wrote Gilderoy Lockhart. That is incorrect. That is incorrect. That is incorrect. <laughs> I don't know who that is either. Uh, please, uh, uh, Mark Donica. Uh, goose egg, I got nothing. All right. Adam, hello. The one with the wand. That uh, would have worked for me, but the judges disagree. Coy. Umbridge, maybe, kind of? Oh. Incorrect. Mike Carlson. I just wrote Snape. Uh, <laughs> right. uh, yes, uh, 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 he knew the so answer. He did not yeah. <laughs> write it down in time. The dark arts have hit the inner geekdom, and the crowd is rambunctious after seeing the whole crew miss that one. We have two questions oh, left in yeah. round one. Inner geekdom, there's ten questions. And your next category is in the world of Star Trek. That's right. Yeah, they didn't do Star Trek. Star Trek. Who plays Nyota Uhura? In the rebooted Star Trek movie. Oh, crap. Uh, you know, uh, I'm, I'm 
right there with you. I haven't had my whiskey yet. Knock it out of the park. Five. The one who's not Michelle Nichols. All uh, right, second JTE rule for Keaton, which means, unfortunately for you, Mark, you're going to have to ask the same question again. Uh, not a problem to me. <laughs> I just wanted to hear you pronounce it again, really. Happy to do so. Who plays Miyota Uhura in the rebooted Star Trek movie? I don't remember. I cannot remember names. Unless it's my name. Victory, I, uh, five, four, three, three, two, two and one. We need answers starting with Mark Stamets. Zoe Saldana. That is correct. Oh. Points there. Wow, look at that. Adam. Zoe Saldana. That is Gamora. Coy. I wrote Guardians of the Galaxy. She is in, she is in that. <laughs> you are wrong. Gamora. I did not know that. Zoe Saldana. That is correct. And Keaton. Um, Crossroads and uh, Avatar. <laughs> yeah, I don't know but I could not think of her name. That's right. They knew oh, the movie. I learned something. I did not know that was her. Also in Britney Spears' first. It's hard to remember. It's hard to realize who's who when you got green makeup. Crossroads. Yes. <laughs> Should make that a whole match onto itself. All right, guys. Final question in this round. Final question in this round. It is mixed bag. Oh, it could be oh, oh my God. Anything from anywhere? except it's not going to be Bond. That you hate so much, but you have to eat because you reached in and grabbed that. According, According to, to Yoda, Yoda, what matters not? You know, I wasn't a fan of Cash's as a child, and I hate to say they have grown on me. That's a sign of getting old. I prefer a word Five, of original. Four, Can I repeat the question? Three, we've got Mike Carlson with a repeat of the question. Yes. According to Yoda, what matters not? Anyway, I'll have a Werther's original about 8 p.m. Yeah, when you get your intro, in, I go for 6 o'clock. I'll put on SEAL Team, and then I'll get some warm up, and then I'll call Four, it. Three, two, and one. We need answers starting with Adam. Size matters not. That is oh, great. That's right. Yoda there, too. Koi. Trying, because there is none. Well, you tried, but failed. <laughs> All right, Mike Carlson. Maybe for fear. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's true, too. Well, but, uh, no, actually, well, fear does matter. Correct. Fear matters a lot. Uh, All right, only one there. Oh, so, wow. at the end of the first round, oh, yeah, rock, best man, uh, we have got a good bitch slap. He is me. Adam Halavik, seven points for the lead. Mike Carlson, the answer man, nice, uh, sitting in a nice position at six. Coy, five, and Keaton rebounded late to get up to four hey, points. Hey, can I say this? Look, well, at least my pick is tied. Every one of their answers would have been a fine quote in The Empire Strikes Back. Fear, worry, the other one, they would have been good. Just, but just the fear does matter. Good thing to not worry it's like the whole point. Matters not. However, Can't be afraid. Fear leads to hate. Hate leads to anger. Anger leads to suffering. So each competitor is going to get a spin at that it wheel. It does matter. You land on whatever <coughs> fate gives you. You can either accept three questions from that. He even says or that. I'm not afraid. You, you, you will be. And you may spin again. Whatever the wheel lands on, you must answer three questions from that category. Each so question did that. Two is worth two points. I knew it was fear. The answer, you can ask Here's the exact the opposite of what it is. choice option. At which point the value of the question will go down to one. No other competitor is allowed to wage an answer until the first competitor misses. At that point, stealing is an option. Here's how you steal. There's four of you up there that are not going to hear that question to you. So you will write down your best attempt at an answer on the whiteboard, whatever you think you know it, and then we'll ask you one by one to reveal it should a steal come into play. Because we have a tie at the top right now with seven points for both Adam and Mark, we're going to flip a coin because luckily Cobb there still keeps quarters in his wallet. So do I. That's a habit of mine. Always gotta have a coin around. But I took it from a homeless man before the show. It's just a weird habit of mine. You played the game before. Mark has not. You want heads or tails? I'll take tails. Tails. All right. Here we go. You ready? Yeah, I'm nervous about you catching it. I probably won't. Oh! What it land on? Head. It's a head. You can and confirm it. Mark Donica, no need to. You're a trustworthy as heels can possibly be. So, Mark Donica, now you have the option. Would you like to spin or defer? I'm going to spin. He's going to spin and make our lives a lot easier, right, Jack. Like we could have gone all the way down the board if Mark Donica doesn't bravely step up and say, I am spinning this wheel. I'll, I'll tell you what, though, that, that, that was a quarter, and I'm going to need it for laundry. Yeah, no, that's fine. We can definitely make sure that you are well laundered, and we're going to get all Notice Indiana Jones has not been asked in the last couple of categories. Have they finally gotten rid of? 
to Indiana Jones also. As I've always been saying if Bond's not a category for Inner Geek, then Indiana Jones ain't either. And it has landed on what? It has landed on MCU. Mark Donica, how confident are you? If it's only three questions, I think it's going to allow people to um, get the same category. I think Donica just wanted to spin again. Yeah. It could have been anything. He hasn't been here yet. He wants to uh, bask in how fun it is. Ooh. Ooh. That's... Yeah, I think he is, and I am too. All right, you have the category of Harry Potter. Destiny has chosen this one for you. Three questions. Mark, Danica, here you go. First question. What is the giant tree that moves and thrashes the Weasley flying car in Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets? The Whomping Willow. That is correct for two points. <laughs> no hesitation. Boy, they're naming trees in Potter? Wow. Second question. What, what makes up the core of Harry's wand? The twine, the crowd at these inner geekdoms, they really know their stuff. Five, four, three, Phoenix Feather. That is correct. That is correct. Woo! Points. You know, I doubted him when he spun away from MCU. I doubt right. no more. Third and final question in this category. What was the name of Hermione's cat in Prisoner of Azkaban? Multiple choice. Multiple choice. A. Crookshank. B. Scabbard. C. Trevor. D. Errol. Crookshank. That is correct for a point. That was a good turn of events. Name the cat Trevor. No, we don't think so. But I do know of a Crookshank. All right. Next up will be Adam. Adam, you are up. Uh, he's going to spin, Ken. Defer no more. And here comes Halivak. He's got to follow a five-point impressive round from Donica. Round and round the wheel goes, and it lands on. It has landed on DCEU, and Ken, it appears that Adam is walking right back to the microphone. He is ready to answer some questions in the world of the DC Extended Universe. All right, you got three questions. And your first one is? What was the name of the member of the Suicide Squad with fire-based abilities? Diablo. Five, four, three. Multiple choice. We can do that. Is it A, Heat Wave, B, Firebrand, C, Diablo, or D, Firefly? Diablo. Give him a point. That is correct for a point. Because screw that movie. Your next question. Who plays Steppenwolf in the movie Justice League? Kieran Hines. Give him two. points. Matt Raider himself. Okay, now this, if he gets this, he's going to tie the round that was just put up in the Harry Potter category by Mark Donica, Adam Halivak, to tie your competitor at the top at 12 in Batman Free Superman. Jimmy Olsen is an undercover operative from what government organization? CIA. Two points. Two points. Both of them. What else could it be? FBI? NSA? MIB? No, not Mike Carlson, do you want to spin? No. No, he is deferring his spin to Koi Jandru. Koi, do you want to spin? He's got the shirt off. I think that means yes. Seems like Mike Carlson didn't want to spin ever. No. All right. You saw the action. Oh, spin. Bunch gym membership. Yep. It has landed on heroes, Ken. Koi Jander fancies himself a hero, and I think that he's going to stay with this one. Koi, is that indeed your choice? He's going with heroes. He's going with heroes. All right, you're going to get three questions in the category of heroes. First one, in Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan, what word does Spock communicate during his mind meld with McCoy? Remember. A, thanks. B, forget. C, remember. D, forgive. Remember. Uh, 
forgive. Incorrect. We have chance for steals here. Your answer should be written, starting with Mike Carlson. Remember. That is correct for a point. Keaton. That is correct for a point. Remember. Donica got the point. Alonic. Remember. That was a big steal round for everyone there. Steal. Everyone remembers the answer except for Coy Jandrew. And he was the one that had his chances just to survive to round three and beyond, Ken. Please forgive. All right. Next question. Category of hero. Who is the first of the fellowship? to offer to accompany Frodo, Frodo, Frodo to Mordor after Gandalf. Heroes is tricky. It's pretty much just a mixed bag. Incorrect. Incorrect. We're looking for steals here, starting with Carlson. Aragon? That is correct. Whoa. Two points. Point. Steal. Two points. Steal. Keaton. I just really stuck on him since middle school, Legolas. <laughs> Incorrect. Can't get him out of her. Not a bad plan. Mark Donovan. King of Men, Aragorn. That is correct, too. More points. Mark Donovan. Uh, Adam Halaf, excuse me. Aragorn. That is correct. Mm. We have got a barn burner. He tricked us. And Mike Carlson, by not wanting to ever spin the wheel, has gotten three points. All right. <laughs> Pressure, pressure is on because if, for whatever reason, Danica and Halavik get more points from a steal, you would have to pack up your thing, put on your shirt again, and leave. All right, final question. And get the hell out of here. What does Han Solo say after shooting the radio on the Death Star's... Boring conversation, anyway. Episode 4, A New Hope. I remember that from Paul. Boring conversation, anyway. All right, A, boring conversation anyway. Thank you, Paul. Couldn't understand him anyway. C, it's going to get worse anyway. D, yes, I bet you have. A, that is correct for a point. Thank you, Paul the Alien, voiced by Seth Rogen. Although, technically, Jason Bateman's character said that. And it wasn't their round. No, it was a point, I appreciate it. I'm glad I got it. Stays alive here. So, we, now we go back to Mike Carlson. Do you want to spin now? I do not. He deferred to Keaton, who has to spin. All right, so here comes Keaton. And strategy from Carlson. I tell you, you... You can't pin the man down. He, he thinks outside the box. Carlson with three points without spinning. Why would you want to shake things up? I, I Don't agree. fix it if it ain't broke, Ken. Absolutely. Keaton with her first spin here. Here comes Keaton. That's her first ever spin at the wheel, and it's a good one. Going around and around it goes. And it has landed on... Lord of the, Lord of the Lord Rings. Of the Rings. Does she want to stick with that category? How many could Legolas possibly involve himself in in those questions? <laughs> She's going to respin. Re She's moved re on from Orlando right. Bloom. Get a life, Get a life bud. <laughs> Keaton's moved past you. Mm. And here is oh, that looks good. Spinner's choice. Spinner, she can pick anything here. She can here. pick anything here. What do you want to Harry Potter. Keaton, you have selected with Spinner's Choice, Harry Potter. Of all the categories on the wheel, you went with Mr. Potter. Don't First do, don't do that. question. Ken Napsoff, he likes cheese. That's First, question. First question. What kind of dragon must Harry face in the first Try wizard challenge in Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire? Give her two points. Two more points there for Keaton. Good wow. performance there. All right, Keaton. That it was question. not. Didn't think it was King Koopa. Peter Pettigrew, former friend of Harry's father and Sirius Black, who betrays them by turning to Voldemort, can transform himself Snake. into what kind of animal? A rat. Oh, shoot. All right. Keaton, making a wise selection. Oh, he, can with her he looks spinner. like a snake can turn into a rat. Bloom is throwing okay. up in his mouth just a little bit. <laughs> just proves that I don't watch those movies. Question in round two, Keaton. Who played Cedric Diggory, the student who was killed near the end of the Goblet of Fire? Oh my God! I'm just lights, lights, can I? Uh, are you gonna count me down? Uh, we will eventually. Yes. I know it. Multiple choice. Just give me multiple choice. Okay. Is it A. Nicholas Hout? B. 
B, Robert Pattinson. Robert Pattinson. Oh, yes. He didn't need all the options. But you know what? I don't what? know what that is my problem. That is, that is not a bad round there, Mark. She kept pace and put some pressure on four. That's right. So it does appear that she is going to be moving on to round three. Mike Carlson, unfortunately, you are not able to defer your spin any longer. You're going to have to. No, he wants the TV one. monitor to spin for him. Green mile. He's taking his time. Yeah. Either it's a confident stroll or he has diarrhea. Okay. He's one suit away from being Andrew Guy. We hope he doesn't break the wheel. Might need a little more elbow grease than that. There we go. Right, it does, it's doing a full rotation. A little effort possible. And the category is... It's MCU. He is good with the MCU. Okay, Mike, okay, Mike Carlson with perhaps the worst spin we've ever seen in the movie <laughs> trivia showdown. Yeah. Somehow landed on a category he feels fairly confident in. That would Which be was preceded by the even more worst spin we've ever seen. First question, you get three here. Opponents, get your skills ready if you feel that you've got it. All right, first one. In the Avengers Age of Ultron, what make of car was Tony Stark driving at the end of the movie? Ooh. Multiple choice. All right, Lamborghini, B, Ferrari, C, Mercedes, D, Audi. Mercedes. Seems like they all drive Mercedes. Mercedes? Oh, incorrect. I was wrong. Looking for steals here, starting with Coy. Audi, I think it was an R8. Uh, we'll, we'll take Audi. That's a point. Keaton. I thought it was Ferrari. Did you see Spider-Man last week? That is <laughs> incorrect there, Mark Donica. Audi. That is correct. Adam. Lambo. Ooh, right, that's a big steal. That's the one he needed. That's right. In Mike Carlson's category, Mike Donica has somehow gotten just ahead of Halivac for the king of the mountain. As of right now, still a lot of match left to be played. Keita Coy with that steal there. A good point. He needed that. Second question. Second question for Mike Carlson. What was the name of the group of soldiers who fought alongside Captain America in World War II in Captain America, the first Avenger? The Howling Commandos. That is correct, two points. As opposed to the Growling Commandos. Growl, 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 growl. Final question. How does the Hydra sleeper agent, Agent Jasper Sitwell, meet his end in Captain America, Winter Soldier? He was ripped out of a car by the Winter Soldier. Uh, I, I, I will Onto a freeway? Yeah, I'll accept that answer. We yes. can uh, certainly accept that. That's a hell of a two-point comeback for Carlson. He's a, it's a scary ending for him. Yeah, we, we need a scary ending. We need you to put the emotion in it. We <laughs> get the full two points. And Ken, you look at the scoreboard. Each and every one of even even Coy Jenner, who's the most experienced competitor as of right now, knew something and had something to contribute in round two as we move into round three. Absolutely. It's important. He is still alive. Let's move on to round number three. In round number three, we are going to get a series of three numbers from each competitor. Those, no, those numbers correspond to a category up here at our answer desk. Your first question that you hear is going to be to you and only to you, as will each question. The first question is worth two points. The next question is worth three points. The last question is worth five points. You will not answer a question if there is no hope for you catching up to the lead, there is no stealing. Who's going to pick two? You pick two, you're a winner. All right, uh, let us uh, collect your numbers beginning with Mark Donica. How many to choose from? One through what? You may go one through 17. 17, okay. Uh, I'll go one, nine, seven. Ooh. You didn't pick two, you lose. All right, Adam. Two, seven. He picked two. He wins. He picked two, three. All right. Next up is Carlson. Eight. Eight. Three. Four. Four. All right. Carlson eight. can four. read numbers and make them funny. <laughs> Keaton. Oh, I get to choose next. Not in last. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, uh, ten. Um, uh, eleven. It's a challenge at this point to know which numbers have not been selected. Will Coy Jander be up to it? It's part of what we got going on. 15. 5. 13. You got yourself a bingo. 
All right, here we go. Coy, you're up first. The pressure is on you because of your point total of seven. You need to get every question here. You chose number 15. Number 15 category is Lord of the Rings. Of course it is. Two point question. What main character do we see get married in The Return of the King? That is incorrect. Incorrect. Mm. Samwise Gamchi marries Rosie. Oh, Aragorn and Arwen did not get married. So with that, Koi, John Drew, Crazy Koi, you have been eliminated from the favorite mm. Goodbye to Koi and Jandru, but uh, for great theatrics as always, just was not his day. Hell of a competitor here in the Inner Geekdom. And we move on to somebody making their rookie performance here today in the Inner Geekdom, and that is Keaton. Marky Keaton, for your first question in the two point category, you chose number 10. And that corresponds to DC movies. DC movies. In the film Batman, Batman Begins, what, what did, the did the homeless man stop Bruce, Bruce Wayne from throwing into the fire barrel? Money. That is incorrect. 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 Looking for his coat. His coat. It's a nice coat. Oh. All right. Next question. All right. Your next category. You chose number eleven. Uh, not sure if that's a special number to you, but it worked out okay because your category. Harry Potter again. And my English accent continues to improve. Again. <laughs> your question. What? What? Is the name of the hippogriff that Harry saves from execution in Prisoner of Every question is from Prisoner of Azkaban. What the hell? All right, and that is going to get her to within three of the lead currently held by Donica. All right, so that means we go to Mike Carlson, who has 13 points. He's sitting here. His questions are eight, three, and four. Your first one, your two point question, will correspond to the number eight. That category is Back to the Future. Back to the future. Cobster is going crazy behind the scenes. Two point question. What is the name of Doc Brown's dog in 1985? Einstein. Einstein. That is correct for two points. Mike Carlson knows his V to the F. Absolutely, absolutely. So uh, now we go to Keaton. Uh, we have, uh, we have uh, a, a three-point, five-point, five five point point, my apologies, five-point question coming <laughs> your way. Okay, okay Keaton, this, this is, is your last, last chance to get points in the Inner Geekdom match here. Donica has a three-point lead on you. If you get this one right, you will not only gain five points, but you will gain the lead at least for the moment. You selected number six for your five-pointer, and that corresponds to weapons, tech, Vehicles and magical objects. Say what? And say what? What uh, weapons and vehicles uh, weapons, have been good enough? Vehicles and magical objects. Uh, huh? Your five point question. Oh god. Might sound familiar to you. Mm -hmm. Name two of the three death. Oh, she got lucky there. From the Harry Potter series. Okay. Uh, the Elder Wand and the uh, Philosopher's Stone. That is. I, I, I have that as incorrect. Oh, no. Incorrect. That's not correct. That's, That's not correct. correct. We're looking for Elder One was Resurrection correct. Resurrection Stone, but it is the Philosopher's Stone. They're not. Challenge it. You can use oh. a challenge if you want. But. I would challenge that. Okay. All right, we do have a challenge. Oh, they could have said Invisibility Cloak, too. Oh, she knew the other one, too? Oh, no. Oh, no. So we have reviewed Keaton's challenge, a well-challenged question, and can our answer up here officially? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
We cannot award the oh, five points. Oh no, for she knew the other one too. It's not known also as the Philosopher's Stone. It is in fact the Resurrection Stone. Here's the biggest heartbreak of the whole thing. During the challenge, Keaton reiterated to us that she also knew the Invisibility Cloak, but she went with Philosopher's Stone. Oh so Keaton, man, we cannot that's accept a tough break. That and give you the five that's points. Rough. So unfortunately, you will not be leaving here today as the winner of this Fatal Five Way Inner Geekdom match. Right, but you have been eliminated today on a, on a plus side. Hell of a performance. Uh, on a plus side, Keaton, I now know more about Harry Potter than I did five <laughs> minutes ago. All right. If I was oh, there, okay. maybe we I would have to. to Mike Carlson. <coughs> Mike Carlson. Mike Carlson, your second number. You chose number three. That corresponds to the category of scores and soundtracks. Scores and soundtracks. The three-point question, it would give you the lead. Who composed the score for Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan? It's Jerry Goldsmith and the other guy. Um, it's probably the other guy, but I'll say Jerry Goldsmith. I forget who the other one was. Five, four, three, Jerry two. Goldsmith. Great guess, but incorrect. Mm. Looking for James yep. Forner, the Lakers. the other James Forner. So we are now going to Adam Halavik, who sits with 15 points. He has not had a question yet. All right, Adam, your question. Selected number two for your two-point question. So he wins. And that corresponds to movie release dates. Movie release dates. Movie release dates. Adam, your question. What two MCU films Avengers 2 and Ant-Man. In 2000. Avengers Age of Ultron and Ant-Man. That is correct. I Two. knew a movie <laughs> release oh, day. To take Yay. We go back to Yay. Mike Carlson. Mike Carlson, your final five-point question is uh, number four. The category is Star Trek. Yay. Star Trek. Five-point question. Needs this to stay in the game. Can Houses Bladder do it? What was Spock's Mother's oh god, name. that's a deep cut. God, I don't even remember that one. Woo! Lana? Five, four, three, two, Submikia. <laughs> I know, uh, incorrect. A great country, yeah, though. I'd like to read that fan fiction well. <laughs> She was a human, I know. Yeah, but Botanicus himself, Mike Carlson, has been eliminated. I'll tell you, it was my choice, but that was a great first-time performance here in the Schmodown from Carlson. It certainly was. Can we looking for Amanda Grayson? Amanda Grayson. Grayson. Right. The Maybe that's why they didn't mention it too often. Not what a really weird sure. We're name. Move now to Mark Donica. It's between Mark Donica. Oh, my pick! Here's Mark Donica. First question for him. He chose number one. That category is the MCU. Two point question. Who voiced the rock creature oh, Korg no. in Thor Ragnarok? Taika Waititi. Oh. That is correct for two I did points. Not know that. Back to Adam. Back Adam Taika Waititi. You now find yourself trailing once again for your three pointer. You selected Joe Theismann's number seven, and up here that corresponds to the DCEU. No one's ever thanked God for the DCEU before, but that can <laughs> change here today. Your question is, what member of the Suicide Squad was killed by the exploding implant as he tried to escape? That would be Adam Beach's Slipknot. Three point for you Adam could remember Adam. Slipknot, there, but you forgot Diablo. Like Going back to Mark Donica, you chose number nine. Number nine, considering you once co-hosted Jedi Alliance, you're going to like this because it's Star Wars. Mm. Hey, that's what the category of the show that he talks about. Mm -hmm. I don't want to touch the Let's hope it's not best. Right. <laughs> In, uh, this is your uh, a three-point question to take the lead and put the pressure on Adam. In Rogue One, a Star Wars story. What, what was the oh. name of the Mon Calamari Admiral that was in charge of the Rebel ships? Admiral Raddus. 
Absolutely voiced by the great Steven Stanton. Paul Casey plays him in the costume. Admiral Radis for three points. Hello, Steven. All right, pressure back on Adam. Your final question will be a five point question administered by Mark Ellis. If you win, it goes back to Mark. If you miss, our winner of this fatal five way qualified match will be Mark the Enforcer Dunn. Uh, Adam, a whole lot of preamble to this match. Fiery competition, and now it could come down to this question. Oh With five points, you selected number 14. That corresponds to the trilogy of movies known as The Hobbit. Oh, he's done. He's done. I had a great it's time over. today. It is. <laughs> Thank you for having me. <laughs> At least he knows it. Other than Thorin, besides Thorin, name four of the 12 remaining dwarves happy grumpy dopey doc the end give you a little more time than 15 seconds on this one you luke skywalker han solo <laughs> chewbacca <laughs> princess Leia. are those your official that guesses that is Can I answer? incorrect which means our winner today i got it right yay Don't worry, I'll do the, the, the diesel horn for you. I can't do it for Monica, though. And then Donica really shining strongest when it matters the most in round three. You know what, I got to do it. A lot of great performances here today. Some debuts that were memorable. We've got some players that are here to stay. I hope they keep coming back for more. And I got to tell you, we're going to see what Coy has to stay. He has been in a bit of a slump since his great debut. Let's see if he has the gumption to come back. We know he has the guns. Should we hear what they have to say now? We're going to hear from all of our competitors right now. Jed Sturger, take it away. Oh, my God. It's so mm. wonderful to be back and here with Mark the Enforcer. That was an incredible, incredible match you put on out there. It's exactly what I said I was going to do. I came in to win, and that's what I did. I got paid in victory. Nice, nice green, green screen effect now. Yeah. Like the, they're uh, nervous in that last round. Not at all. It's not at all. He got some of the categories that if it came down to me, I would be happy to miss let's put it that way <laughs> were there a few categories out there that you were a little intimidated by uh, i gotta say having the the point leader advantage let me hear all of the stuff that i wanted to pass me by until my number came up and it was, uh, it was categories that i was familiar with you had quite a few steals though as well mm -hmm. tell me how that kept you in the game you just gotta know this stuff yeah ultimately what were you doing to prepare for all of this it's all in my brain I didn't need to rewatch any movies or, or, or study just or there. just be on Wikipedia at the last minute going, oh, what are the names of all the professors in Harry Potter? <laughs> no, all that stuff's in here. So now that you won the Fatal Five Way, what is next for you? I'm coming for Jason Inman. I'm coming for that championship. It doesn't matter who I'm up against, whoever wins the next Fatal Five Way match. Because I came, I saw, and I got paid. Mm -hmm. Very good. So I'm well, guessing I'm gonna send it back to you we're trying to predict who else is going to be. I'm going to guess Hector's going to be in it. What the hell is this guy doing here? You, uh, you know who I am? I used to do your show on Popcorn Talk. I'm Jeff Snyder. That's right, I am Jeff Snyder. But more importantly, I'm the team champion of this league. <clears throat> you know who I am. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, I'm a really cool guy. Do you think you're good at this game? I know I'm good at this game. You just saw my performance. We did, we did. I did. We, you know what? we think you're very good, too. You know the lion's den. Of course, yeah. right? I know the lion's oh, den. Okay. Yes. If I may, real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, how would you feel, you know, maybe if we did a little something with your image uh, to make you lion's, gate, lion's den ready? Uh, I don't know, yeah. How would you feel about maybe joining our faction? What's it pay? It pays in prestige. It pays in gold right here. It pays for itself. Nothing monetary. Nothing monetary. Just Obviously pure knowledge. This is this is five hundred dollars worth of stuff. For glory. I, I mean, we need an inner geekdom competitor. We saw what you did out there today. We were impressed. You tell us. You want to be a part of the den, or you want to stick with the the losers out here? Now, there's two options here. You could answer now, which would be a good answer, and it. it would be a yes. Or you could maybe you know think about it. But I would say probably 
say yes because yeah, this yeah, is like not on the table a big ever, thing. You yeah, know? I mean, we don't yeah. we don't just ask anybody. We got rid of that dope Myers Burnett. We got rid of the dope Andreco. Yeah, you're big and strong. And we like you. Enough foreplay here. You know, w w what's your answer? What do you think? I think we should do a little bit more talking. Okay, I'll take that. I will take that. We're gonna go. We're gonna let you enjoy your victory. Say you yes. Big guy, all right. Den out. You didn't say yes. That's fair. What the? F <laughs> uh, I'm here with Adam, who is still visibly fuming after that match. Adam, it came down literally to the last question. It came down to a bunch of dwarves. What happened? Boom. Um, a lot of things happened. You know, uh, I'm a little frustrated. I'm a little upset. Lions Den came in. They recruited a new guy. I've been here three times. I've lost three times now, always to the last question. Christian, it'd be great if I got more than 48 hours notice. Really appreciate it. Um, I'm now I'm now I'm I'm not supposed to curse. I'm really pissed, and uh, I definitely want to come back again. Hopefully not another year. Continue competing, and uh, prove prove that I am one of the better competitors in this competition. Ah, <sighs> a little frustrating. Just just a little bit. Just a little bit. Totally understandable. Yeah. Were there any categories that you were just like, ah, screw the Hobbit? Why? You know, going <sighs> going into it, I, I knew that I had some soft spots, but. Man, I feel like I really crushed it on those other ones, and uh, yeah, it hurts. It hurts. It's really painful. I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm done. I'm done. I'm not, I'm not answering more questions. Hey guys, I'm here with Mike Carlson. Mike, you were a highly anticipated competitor coming into this. The Schmodown yeah. fans were really excited to see you. Mm -hmm. Got any messages for them? Uh, yeah, you're welcome. Uh, I hope I know you enjoyed it. Uh, so just uh, PayPal me uh, at my email address. I'll post it on Twitter. We have a uh, Patreon, dude. No, no, no. But don't give it to their Patreon. Give it directly to me, <laughs> uh, and I'll put info on my Twitter about that. So yeah, you're welcome. Is all I want to say. Oh, so what was your strategy going into the wheel round about not spinning? Did you think uh, you could just avoid it all together? They'd forget about you? Uh, that uh, I'll be fully honest. I had a full bladder from drinking a lot of Taco Bell soda, and I didn't want to get up because it was going to disturb the bladder and make me have to go even worse, and that is absolutely what happened by the end. Great. That was my strategy, <laughs> not to pee all over myself. <laughs> Now, going forward, I'm sure we'll, we'll be seeing more of you. Mm -hmm. Who would you like to compete against in the Inner Geekdom? Uh, it's, you know, there's a lot of great names here. There's a lot of people. Uh, honestly, I don't care. Uh, it, whenever I have free time, I live like five minutes from here. I'll wander down. I'll compete against anyone. I don't care. I'll find a guy over at the Islands Restaurant. I'll bring <laughs> him over here. I'll compete against him. It doesn't matter. Awesome. Well, it was so great seeing you compete today, Mike. Like I said, highly anticipated. Mm -hmm. You did not let us down. Thank Hopefully you. we see you again soon. Yeah, maybe. Keaton, that was a wonderful, wonderful debut. Your first Schmodown yep. competition yep. and your first Inner Geekdom. Yeah, my, my first everything. And you came in with 15 points. That is solid as solid guess. Yeah, you know, and it should have been more. I'm a little disappointed in myself. Like when people say the lights get to you, they get to you. I saw you 15? that first round. Was, you saw, it kind of looked 13. like you were kicking yourself under the table. What happened? I don't know. Like, I knew it was Remus Lupin. It was one of those things where like I would write something down or like I, it would be right on the tip of my tongue and then like as soon as they would say, okay, answers, I would like, oh, it would click in my head what it was. And so with Remus Lupin, with Zoe Saldana, with uh, Sophie Turner, and, and even with Robert Pattinson, that should have been a two-pointer for me. And I'm so bummed that I just, I blanked. But you were hanging with the guys up until that very last round. And then the Harry Potter thing happened. Oh what happened? Uh, I, you know, I, that's going to haunt me for the rest of my life. Uh, <laughs> hopefully not, but... A Philosopher's Stone, I just I, I just got sloppy. I got excited, I got sloppy, um, I got cocky because they said Harry, it was a Harry Potter question after I had already lost all hope when they said it was like a weird kind of, you know. Yeah, I don't even know what category that was, guys. It was Figure, it yeah. <laughs> Figure it out. Figure it out. Make it less than 25 syllables. Magic. Like, say what? What? Um, I don't know. But then <laughs> as, as soon as it came into the Harry Potter world, I'm like, oh my god. Oh, I can oh, redeem oh, myself. I can redeem myself. And then... Um, came out with, I, I should have said Invisibility Cloak, I should not have said Philosopher's Stone, and I just, yeah, it's a rookie mistake. Yep, but it's not the last time we're going to see you, right? You're coming back. I hope not. I hope you guys have me back. I had a blast, and uh, 
I want to be back. I gotta gotta prove myself, redeem myself. Absolutely. Well, I'm sure the fans loved you, and um, you know, we'll definitely find out from the Schmoville universe how they feel. So, congratulations on thank a wonderful you. first showing, and we hope to see you again soon. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. See you next time. Yeah. Oh, coy. Oh, coy. That was a tough one. It was it was hot in there. It was hot in the robe. It was it was, well, you it, it was a heat. Your bath it was a choice was made, and it wasn't the right one. It wasn't. Uh, <laughs> but I got marble right. I uh, for the, my marble fans, I didn't miss a marble <laughs> question, so I feel the only solace I have is not missing marble. The one solace. Yeah, that hero is on the wheel. It kind of. I stuck expected that it to be round. more narrow, really? and then it, the broad spectrum of what heroes are out in the world just messed with me. I wasn't ready. Wasn't there. So. As we learn, you live by the wheel, you die by the wheel. What are you going to do to get back into the energy? I'm going to watch Lord of the Rings, uh, because apparently Lord of the Rings Solid. is my weak, weak weakness. Uh, so I've got 12 hours of quality entertainment and about 10 hours of less quality entertainment, depending on the trilogy ahead of me. <laughs> so I'm going to go in positive first, and then I'll finish with those hobbits. But I will watch them, because, man, that hurts me to not know anything, much less something so important to so many people. Yeah, and do you have a message out to the fans? If you have me on your roster, I'm sorry. I will do better. I am better. I'll come back better. And I'm still here. Sure. Let's start with a different robe next time. Different robe. Less robe. Less hot. Thanks, guys. It was, it was awesome. I had so much fun. I love this game. So I'll be back. Great. That's Appreciate all we it. wanted to hear. We'll see you soon. Well, you see there, Ken. I mean, look, it, it, it's classy as you could possibly be. I know that there's some competitors that are very disappointed. A great new star in the inner geekdom, certainly in Keaton and Mike Carlson, and then Mark Donica. I mean, the, the guy, he's, he's got class all over him. He seems very confident going into whoever he will be facing in the new Fatal Five-Way matchup. Who wins that to play, Donica, for the right to compete on the top of the mountain, Mr. Jason Inman? The inner geekdom is off and running here in Season 5. You guys. This is what you're doing by supporting us on Patreon, giving these matches, getting new names in here, expanding what we do in our reach. That's because and giving you me you money. Very much <laughs> that. And uh, Mark, you're okay. Too. Oh, well, thank you very much, Ken. Make sure you check out the Movie Trivia Showdown Facebook page. Hey, that's not updated. That like is said, updated. The Patreon. That so is two. No, no, not the Patreon needs. number. For the you were up to 1550 last I checked. Maybe 1554. We'll Friday when I take on Jeff the Insnider. I forgot his last name. Oh, that's nice to know. All right. I can't believe it. I actually got a game and a match right. Mark. Donica, he came in like Diesel, like Kevin Nash, and he used the Diesel power all the way. Two big thumbs up from there. I'm actually very proud of that. I actually predicted that as of Saturday, I think, uh, on uh, Film Nerd TV's uh, Schmodown recap. I actually predicted that. Yay! Yay me! So, um, yeah, I'm very happy for that. But, uh, damn, that line's dead. Yeah, you already know he's going to get recruited, which is a shame, because obviously uh, him and Ken are pretty pretty tight, so uh, that makes a lot of sense. Um, so, yeah, I was happy at first, and now I'm kind of bummed, because uh, he looked like he was going to be a really bad, badass, uh, empty, you know, guy that's going to take down all the heels, and of course now he's going to join up with them, which is a damn shame. So, uh, with that being said, that's going to do it for this edition of JTH Reacts to the Movie Trivia Showdown. Um, you can follow me on Twitter at WWJTH1. I post every single one of these reactions on there. Uh, join the Movie Trivia Showdown Facebook page. And, of course, join the Patreon page. It means a lot to them. And, you know, it's for a great cause. So, until then, we will be ready for Thursday because that will be our first um, celebrity match. It's the uh, Ash vs. Evil Dead match that will feature uh, Whitney Seibold and uh, John Schnepp. Can't wait to see that. I'll be sure to be reacting to that and getting it up here when it drops because, yeah, it's not dropped yet. So with that being said, that's going to do it for this edition of JTH Reacts. Until next time, I bid you adieu-adieu.